Hi everyone! This is a tutorial about setting up HDR lighting for Octane Blender Renderer. So when I first installed Octane, my first question was, how do I set up lights? And one of the quickest ways to get nice lighting is to use an HDR light. To start, we'll need a subject, and in this case, we'll use Suzanne. We can delete the current light and the default cube. Keep in mind, only two Blender lights work in Octane, but I'll cover this in a future video. What I'm doing now is adding subdivision to Suzanne so I can smooth the mesh out. I want to remove the faceting from it and one of the ways to do is to add subdivision and also to turn on smooth shading. And right now I'm activating Octane in the viewport. I'm going to go to the world's properties and I'm going to change the texture instead of a white color, I'm going to change it to image texture. I'm going to load up an HDR map from HDR Haven. Uh, recently, they changed the site name to Polyhaven. The environment looks a bit on the dark side, and that's because when you load up an HDR, it's expecting a linear curve. And right now the gamma has a 2.2 curve, which is uh, closer to sRGB. So we're gonna change that back to one. And now everything looks correct. Here I drop down a plane and I'm going to use that as a shadow catcher. As you can see we want the plane big enough that the shadows don't get clipped at the edge of the plane. So we're just going to scale up the plane. Here we're assigning a universal material to the objects we have in our scene. That way we can get better control over the surface settings. And right now I am making Suzanne a red color. And we're setting the roughness setting and the BSDF settings. I'm also going to do the same with the plane, but I'm going to sign that as a shadow catcher uh, using the universal material. So we see that the shadow is actually hitting the edge of the plane, so we're just going to have to make it bigger. So I'm just going to scale it up more. Here I'm going to try a different HDR map to see how my material looks in various environments. And there we have it. We have a nice HDR environment lighting Suzanne with a universal material and a shadow catcher photograph. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. It'll help me a lot and won't require a lot of effort from you. Thank you.